Hitting fairway woods is a real challenge for some golfers. I'm gonna show you why 95% of people can't hit this club off the ground. So I get plenty of lessons coming through here that, that struggle with woods, particularly sort of drivers, fairway woods, getting distances and making sure that you're getting consistent strikes. And that is probably the most common answer when I say to somebody in a lesson, what do you want to work on? It's always consistency. Trying to get these longer clubs so that your dispersion is tighter and you're more consistent is a real challenge. Now, there are a couple of differences between your woods. So what we're going to cover today is how to hit your fairway woods off of the ground, and you've got to understand that there is a difference between your fairway wood off the ground and your driver off of the tee. Right, first thing I want to talk about is sort of low point of your swing. That's the key thing. So when we talk about low point, it's where the club will naturally stand there, swing and bottom out. So at the lowest point of the arc, where that club is in relation to the ball, absolutely key. Now, if you're hitting a wedge, we all know that when you're hitting your wood, um, when you're hitting your irons, that you want to strike down. So you want to get a bit of the ball first before you get into the ground. So as a result, we'll put the ball further back in your stance so that then the low point is forward of the ball. So as you come in, strike the ball, club descends down into the ground, that's gonna get you hitting the sort of fourth or fifth groove on the club, get you the best possible strike. When you're hitting your driver, it's the reverse. So we put the, lock, the ball a long way forward in your stance, tear up nice and high, I haven't got a tee here, but you tear up nice and high, stand there, swing at the bottom of your arc, you're there, and then you're looking for the club to give it an ascending blow as you're coming into the ball. Now this is where people get it wrong with their fairway woods, and this is why I say 95% of people get this wrong. So the easiest way to define the low point of your swing and measure it in, in, uh, as you're swinging is to turn it aside. Okay, so I would say, the underside of your left arm pit bare if you're a right-handed golfer and say that that's the low point because as you swing, you're going to stand there, club's going to return, it's going to get there more or less and then if you were hitting driver, you'd hit up on it, if you're hitting an iron, you're going to be back there somewhere. Uh, and, and it's a good measure to say that's where the low point is. Um, so that's, it's about where the ball goes in relation to that position of your body. So if we put the ball further back there, you can see if the ball is further back, in relation to the armpit, that's going to give you the downward strike, and then if you're hitting your driver, that you put it further forward. So where do you put your your fairway woods and your hybrids? So I've got three wood here. I would put the ball ever so slightly back of the low point. So you want to be ball first and then ground a little bit, just a little bit of ground. Now, this is where people get it wrong because they'll stand there with their three wood, put the ball in the wrong position and then get the wrong angle of attack. So treat it too much like a driver. So you stand there, swing, club bottoms out, you're on the way up too much, and then you top the ball. And that's probably the most common thing that you're gonna see. The other thing would be, key one is shoulder position. Okay, so with your, when you put the ball further forward with your driver, it helps to stand there and get that little bit of lean so that your shoulders are working a little bit more there, favouring the weight onto the right hand side, all of that's going to make you hit up on the ball. If you do that with your fairway woods, you're going to hit up on it and that's going to lead you to hitting bad shots. I like to see shoulders a little bit more level, so not here, a little bit more level, weight position, at address, just favouring the left hand side. Okay, so you set up here, favouring, like feeling like you're pressing the ground a little bit with your left foot, and then to stand there and make a swing, you're gonna transfer your weight there, and then as you come in, get in that position. Then the next feeling, and these are all feelings, is to stand there and think, right, so as you come through, you're trying to get this position, so that that shaft looks more or less level with your leg there, with that right hand, your trail hand in there. So you just stand there and take a few swings, get that feeling and think, right, I'm gonna make hit my three with that, my hit the ball just after impact. Put those couple of things together, you will improve. Should look something like this. So I set myself up, ball position ever so slightly further back than what I'm saying the low point would be. And I'm just thinking that as I come in, I want to get there with my hands so the shaft's level with my left leg, and then that right palm into that position. Right. 
There you go. That's gonna make you a little bit more consistent. That's gonna help you to start getting those fairway woods out there. But if you like that video, make sure that you check out one of my other coaching videos as well. But we've also got loads of product reviews going on at the moment. So look at that one where I talk about the new Callaway Paradigm Irons.